Every month, I wander through the overstocked shelves of the Nintendo eShop to find you five great games that you can play for under $25. How's it going everyone? Jay here from Square Pegs, and in today's 10th edition of eShop Excellence, we have a healthy mix of remastered classics, thieving wildlife, innovative gameplay, and incredible visuals. If you dig the games listed in this video and want to find more eShop classics that you can play right now, great games for under $25, click the card above or check out the playlist link in the pinned comment down below. If you're new around here and just happen to stumble across us, welcome aboard, we're glad you're here. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button down below and subscribe while you're there. Doing a couple videos a week looking at modern gaming as well as my favorite retro classics. But you guys aren't here to see me, you want to see the games and I cannot blame you. Let's dive on in with a remastered classic from the criminally underrated Sega Saturn with Panzer Dragoon Remake. Alright, so I won't lie, I never really got into the original Panzer Dragoon on the Sega Saturn that released in 1995. I had the demo disc for it on my Saturn and I thought it was neat, but it wasn't something I ever really tracked down. So when the remake got announced from Forever Entertainment a couple years ago, I was kind of stoked because I never really had a chance to play the original. I'd played Orta on the Xbox, but the original had escaped me. It was just something I never came back to. And having the remake out there was a big deal because I really wanted to play this. This is kind of one of those classic series that I think everyone should play at least once. And this is the classic game. I mean, this is just a remake of the original. It's got updated visuals and controls, and it just looks incredible compared to the original. And it sounds great as well. If you don't know what Panzer Dragoon is, it is an on-rails shooter, and it's got some good difficulty. It's a great thing for nostalgia, it, and it's great for people like me who never got a chance to play the original beyond what was just on that demo disc. This gives you a chance to experience it for the first time. There's been some additions to this version, giving you lock-on targeting and some revised controls, and at $24.99, I don't think you can go wrong replaying a classic from the past. I was given a review code for Rift Raccoon from Adelika Games and Marcos Game Dev, but that doesn't change the fact that I was going to pick this one up anyway, it was on my wish list. And if you like games like Super Meat Boy with a little bit of Twitch and a whole lot of difficulty, well, let me tell you something, Rift Raccoon is the game for you because it is very clearly a love letter to games like that. And somehow, even though it does definitely lend its roots to get twitchy games like Super Meat Boy, it's somehow not twitchy at all. It's actually completely methodical and has a whole lot of logical problem solving to it. You play as a raccoon thief who likes to teleport, and it, this game is properly difficult. You will die a lot. As you're seeing here, something as simple as mistiming your jump or teleporting to the wrong location and not completely plotting out your path to success is going to result in a restart of the level and a return to a checkpoint. It is properly hard, and it is so rewarding. The game has incredible pixel visuals, a great replay value to find all the collectible diamonds in each level, because those are going to unlock new colors for your Trash Panda avatar. I love this game. I'm so happy that it paid out the way I expected it to, because at $4.99, Rift Raccoon is a steal. You guys know how much I love Star Wars. I recently did that Star Wars video on May the 4th talking about some of my favorite Star Wars games with some of my friends, and today I am here to give you another one. This is Star Wars Republic Commando from Aspire Media. This is an incredible remaster of an absolutely classic game. If you've never played Republic Commando before, it's an FPS tactical shooter, meaning you're going to be in charge of Boss, one of the four members of Delta Squad, and you'll need to be thinking of every possibility to direct your commandos to their spots so you can advance through the levels to safety. This is a great Star Wars look. Everything feels lived in and grimy, which is kind of remarkable because it takes place during the prequels where everything was really bright and pristine, but it's awesome. These are classic characters created specifically for this game, but they've inspired storytelling and personalities in shows like The Clone Wars and The Bad Batch, putting you in the perspective of the grunts on the ground rather than just the Jedi. In fact, it's kind of a neat little side effect here. Delta Squad would go on to appear in the third season episode of Clone Wars called The Witches of the Mist. It's an amazing game with an incredible value. I've noticed some really clever use of the HD rumble in my Pro Controller, and it plays brilliantly in handheld as well. Aspire knocked this one out of the park. Republic Commando can be yours for $14.99. Oh man, okay, so I've wanted to talk about Golden Force from No Gravity Games for a few months now, but I'm going to be honest with you, when I first picked this game up, as much as I was blown away by it, there were some challenges to it. There was a lot of slowdown in the game that made playing it a little bit difficult the further you went into the game when there was more characters on screen. But I am pleased to report that after a few months of toiling away at this, No Gravity has made this game 
completely streamlined and silky smooth. Golden Force is a classic beat-em-up brawler. You've got four unique characters to choose from with excellent visuals and music throughout the game. Now, this is a challenging game, but not to the point where you're going to want to quit it. It's not hard for the sake of being hard. It has a challenge where you're going to want to keep moving forward and keep kind of plotting away at it to make sure that you're able to advance. It's awesome. There's absolutely massive boss battles, filling up nearly the entire screen with crazy creatures and awesome enemy AI throughout the entirety of the game, not just the bosses, the mobs are great as well. I really, really can't stress enough how important it is and how awesome it is that No Gravity Games kept revisiting this and kept working at the Switch version to get the game into the current state it is, which is nearly perfect. Golden Force is a throwback to classic games of years past, and I'm having a ton of fun with it. And if you love classic platforming beat-em-ups, definitely pick this up for $19.99. Now I could have sworn that I've talked about Flint Hook before from Tribute Games, but I can't find evidence of that, so allow me to gush for a little bit about one of my absolute favorite games on the Nintendo Switch from any publisher at any retail release level, either digital or physical. Flint Hook is just, it speaks to me, like I love everything about this game that has unique gameplay that's one part Spelunky, one part Bionic Commando, one part Spider-Man, and one part Fez. And you mix it all together, and you get absolute perfection. The game has incredible visuals, with imaginative and colorful enemy character designs on screen at all times, a great protagonist, and awesome level designs, with each level having its own unique environmental build. It has fantastic music, and one of the absolute best intros ever recorded on a game. I'm not going to play it for you in this video, because honestly, I really don't want to spoil it for you. It's that good. It's also unbelievably challenging. The game is unforgivingly hard, but when you play it, you will find yourself getting into a rhythm where you are just more comfortable and more naturally flying around the stage using your grappling hook to attack enemies and access treasure. It has awesome procedurally generated levels, making you have to play on your toes a little bit the entire time. There's great power-ups and collectible relics. This is platforming at its absolute finest. No lie, the fact that Flint Hook is only $14.99 is kind of astonishing to me. This is legitimately one of my favorite games and something I have pumped a ton of hours into. Trust me when I tell you, pick this one up. That, my friends, is a wrap, and there you have it. Five fantastically fun games that you can add to your collection on the Nintendo eShop right now. Links to each game's page on the eShop will be in the description down below. And remember, if you are logged into your My Nintendo account, you can actually make purchases and add to your wishlist directly from the website. Make sure you let me know in the comments down below what your favorite game is that I checked out today. And while you're down there, give me suggestions for other great eShop games that I can check out. I am always looking for new ones. And yes, Hollow Knight is coming. I promise, Josh, it is coming. Don't worry about it. I swear, you have my word. Remember to check out my social media pages on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Links to all of them will be in the pinned comment down below. And if you dug today's video and think someone else might enjoy it, don't hesitate to share it out. Get the word out. We are trying to grow the channel. We are on our way to 1,000 subscribers. We're currently at 730. And to think at this time last year, we had just broken 200. You guys are awesome. Huge thanks to everyone watching, but in particular to my patrons that you are seeing on screen right now. They are invaluable in helping the channel grow. I love you guys. You guys are absolutely fantastic. And I thank you so much for believing in the channel. If you guys dig what I do here and are in a position to help the channel grow as well, please do consider taking a look at the different tier options we have on our Patreon page. And if a monthly recurring payment isn't in your budget right now, please do consider checking out our Tee Public page and picking up some of our merch. It's where you can get awesome shirts like this Square Pegs coin explosion. Yeah, I wear my own merch. Why wouldn't I? It's awesome. And remember guys, if you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up down below. Let me know you enjoy the content I'm creating. And if you're new here and haven't done so already, please be sure to subscribe. And while you're there, hit that notification bell so you can keep up to date with everything I'm uploading. Twice a week, classic and modern games. Until next time, guys, I've been Jay. I appreciate you spending a little bit of time with me as we shop smart, shop as smart in the Nintendo eShop. Until next time, remember to play more games, stay square, and take care. I'll talk to you soon.